Patrick, happening tonight, Democratic candidates will be closely watching the results from the Iowa caucuses. But Texas will have a lot to say, too. We just have to wait a month. <laughs> Super Tuesday. 12 News reporter Jordan James spent the day talking to voters, trying to find out if they plan on hitting the polls. He's live tonight in Beaumont. Yeah, Jordan, I stopped by Lamar University and many students tell me that the impeachment proceedings has inspired them to take a deeper interest in politics. At Lamar University, things feel different. What exactly a month until Texas votes during Super Tuesday? Students say they're excited. I think it's important for us to get out there and vote to be able to see the change in this country. There was a time when we couldn't do these things, so I do feel like now it's my turn and I need to do it. Texas is one of 14 states that will cast their votes on March 3rd. Both sides are going at each other. Um, I think it's important that we have our checks and balances. Lamar senior Michael Mitchell believes this is one of the most important elections in recent history. Hopefully uh, we put a president in there that's actually going to do well for this country and actually think about the people instead of just business tactics. Texas has 228 Democrat delegates up for grabs and as one of the first states set to vote plays a pivotal role in picking the party nominee to challenge President Trump in November. And I think people are ready for a change. I think people are ready to get back to uh, the act of kindness. Jefferson County Democrat Chair Ava Graves believes the presidential election will come down to which candidate can unite the country. We want to be able to have strong, healthy relationships. So when we're thinking in the political arena, we're looking for candidates that are going to model uh, justice and equality for all of one of the more watched races during the primaries will be the Texas Senate race incumbent Senator Republican John Corning is seeking another term a seat that the GOP wants to hang on to but 12 Democrat candidates are looking for the energy better or work brought when he challenged Ted Cruz two years ago with a month until the ballot box opens these Lamar students say they're ready to exercise their rights my parents always told me that like you need to be involved you need to try because one one day you couldn't Again, the Texas primary will be held on March 3rd. Today was the deadline to register to vote. If you still like to make changes to your address, we have steps on how you can do so on our website at 12newsnow.com. Reporting here live in Beaumont, Jordan James, 12 News.